Nice. Look at that. Here we are in Whitehorse at the Raven Inn. It's about six o'clock in the morning. And we got uh, everything pretty well packed up here and we're just gonna head down to the lobby and waiting for Up North Adventures to pick us up for our trip on the Wind River. All right, here we go. After arriving in Whitehorse, we picked up a few last supplies and rental gear at Up North Adventures. The following day, we took a five-hour shuttle to the small community of Mayo. In Mayo, we load up our gear onto a float plane and fly deep into the Warnecke Mountains to McCluskey Lake where we begin our 12-day adventure in pure wilderness on the Wind and Peel Rivers. The trip includes only one short portage between McCluskey Lake and the small creek that leads us to the Wind River. We paddle 190 kilometers north on the Wind River, followed by another 85 kilometers on the Peel River where we pass by both the Bonnet Plume and the Snake River confluences before our pickup at a place called Taco Bar by another float plane, where we head back to Whitehorse. So we're just here in Mayo at uh, Alcan Air. It's a cool little place. And yeah, looks like we'll be the only ones flying into Wind River today. So to put everything kind of organized, we just got to put the canoe on. And the canoe's just going to get strapped onto this uh, side of the uh, floats. And up north has uh, given us a brand new canoe to use. A 17 foot uh, Prospector in uh, T4 Max. So, get to test this out. So we've landed here on McCluskey Lake. Just here at the McCluskey Lake cabin. Got a first lake trout. 
Really? Oh my gosh. Please don't knock us over. Oh no. <laughs> Lost it. That was probably a six pound lake trout. First fish of the nice trip. Fish. And it's a grayling. There you go. Nice. All right. We're going to say goodbye to McCluskey Lake. So this is uh, McCluskey Creek, and it's a uh, fast-moving creek for sure. That was a long day. We are just uh, just set up our little camp here, just on uh, McCluskey Creek here, right by the, uh, pretty close to the portage to, uh, from McCluskey Lake. So we've got to go uh, a few kilometers tomorrow down to the Wind River. So it looks like a pretty quick moving system here. Beautiful, clear water here. But yeah, really quick moving creek. It's gonna be a little tricky to navigate through that, but I'm sure we can handle it. The small creek leading to the main Wind River poses several challenges, including tight corners, strainers, sweepers, and boulders. While preparing for this trip, we learned that some groups can take up to eight hours to travel this short section, and it is not uncommon for boats to capsize or be pinned against an obstacle. After some recent rainfall and being relatively early in the season, we had sufficient water levels and hoped to avoid lining our canoe. Being a single canoe on this trip, we had to put our previous experience to the test and stay focused on the task at hand. Some pretty big uh, sweepers here. We want to go around to the left, I think. Around this left. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, okay, now draw on the other side. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. 
I think this is the other part. This might be the other creek. Woo! Here we are. This might be the wind, yeah. <laughs> you have to be on your toes on that. back paddle over. Okay. Nice. Nice. So this is the kind of uh, spot I look for uh, for grayling. You can see uh, kind of a little back channel here, and then it's kind of coming over on this riffle here. So it's a pretty deep area, and there's some cover there. You can see um, some roots and stuff there. So and some debris. So I'll try a cast here. Oh yeah, there we go. It's a nice one. Nice. Look at that. Yeah, these are really nice. Kind of bluey purple color. Beautiful grayling. There's Hillary's got her first grayling. Ooh, heavy. <laughs> Here, slide it over here. Nice. Look at that. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there's some uh, fresh grayling caught. They're just up in camp and it's pouring rain. Yeah. Now we're dry and just. Checking out the mountains here. What else do we got in there? Mac and, Ooh, mac and cheese. Morning of uh, day three. Just uh, having a little fire here. It's pretty windy. Mm -hmm. But it's not raining yet. Caught some nice grayling yesterday. Had one for dinner. I pack up and head down the river shortly. Take down that shelter. Yeah, we gotta take down our <laughs> shelter, which actually uh, did pretty well. Yeah. Just stopped on this uh, wide braided area and. Hillary spotted this, this poor fella. Make it. Yeah, Make it's it actually, crossing. I don't know what happened, my dad. Yeah, it's a caribou. here for a shore lunch. Eric's doing some fishing in this little pool. Shore lunch here. No fish though. No fish yet. Got some salami, some balders and cheese. Mixture of honey mustard. 
barbecue sauce and hot sauce. Cheers. Cheers. Pictures are not going to do it justice. Oh, Hillary's going for the uh, big grayling. is going to capture the color of the water but it's like emerald blue like a bright bright turquoise blue And we, wow. says, let's hike a mountain. So we're gonna hike up, uh, we're not gonna hike up this, but we're gonna hike up this, uh, up to the, maybe the base there. So, I don't know, might take us half an hour each way. there at the top or at least where uh, we're gonna climb to anyways but, uh, saw some caribou tracks on this uh, slope when we were walking up it's pretty cool haven't spotted one yet or a live one anyways all right so we're uh, just finished our little hike evening hike and it looks like a big storm's gonna hit us here in a few minutes but we're gonna we spotted what looked to be a potential campsite, maybe about a kilometer up, so we're gonna head there for the night, hunker down. Well, here we are on night three. Not a bad looking spot. Some nice snowy peaks. The sun. There's a little creek coming out here, but uh, looks like uh, other groups stay here regularly, so we set up and uh, just got our regular canoe shelter set up here. It's a little buggy. <coughs> yeah, a little buggy. Oh, it's not too bad right here. <laughs> I was gonna say, but as you get closer to the bush, oh it gets really bad, but we put the tent up there out of the way and yeah. Starting to clear up actually. Nice shelter. So 
see what Eric's cooking up. I don't always cook, but when I do... <laughs> You'd cook with a view. Then he's the mountains in the background. <laughs> Pasta with meat sauce here. Mm -hmm. Dehydrated, we made this ourselves in the yeah. winter. And then we've just got some water boiling for the pasta. Nice. Okay. We're going to eat with this view, if you can believe it. It's amazing out here. Well, we're maybe an hour, hour and a half in, and we're uh, just pulled over here. We're gonna go hike up this little ridge and take a look out. The tongue, 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 tongue. tongue, 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 tongue. <laughs> Just had a nice shore lunch here and a little nap. Cooked up those two uh, grayling. Caught them in about what five minutes. We caught them. I fried them up here on the shore and. Just enjoying the weather. We're gonna push on for a few more kilometers and look for a campsite. Transitioning a little bit. Less, uh, seems like a few less snow capped peaks.
All right. Going on a little trek. If you can see, there's a uh, way over there. There's a uh, just this random kind of mound of rock and gravel. So I'm gonna hike up to that and take a look around. I don't know what time it is, maybe 9.30 or 10 o'clock at night. The sun's out. Beautiful night. All right, got my bear spray, got my bear banger. Let's give her. Getting close. Yeah, there's our campsite way down there. Morning of day five. We are just uh, packing up camp here. It's a beautiful blue sky here. Look at this. Yeah, no rain last night. Nice breeze today, keeps the bugs away. You're camping in these spots. You gotta watch out for the uh, eroded banks. Don't camp too close to the edge because you can see on this one that's probably six feet it's dropped into the river. You can see the grass growing there. So this probably happened in the spring. But yeah, I want to stay too too close to the edge. You can see this whole this whole campsite eventually will probably migrate over as the river moves over closer. Yeah, we set up a little shelter here yesterday. We thought some storms were going to come in, but we managed to stay in between two of them. <laughs> Pretty fun. Shows you how fast we're going. Well, we're just gonna take another hike. We've been just flying along here, so we're uh, just not wanting to rush too much down this whole uh, section with the mountains. So we're gonna uh, we just attempt to go up on this this ridge here. It looks like it's not quite as steep. We'll see how far we get. Looks like it's got pretty easy access, so. Just fueling up with a uh, power bar. All right. It's part way up. went way up there. That's crazy. I'm not doing it. <laughs> well, we're got right pretty much to the peak here. Wow. Just a little bit further, but I'm not going to risk it. Only 
only going to stick to where it's uh, more grassy and stable. Wow. You can see the Wind River and I think this is actually in the distance is where the mountains kind of taper off. This would be great where it would be, uh, it would be great if we had one of those uh, squirrel suits and you could just fly down to our canoe. Unfortunately, we don't have one of those right now. All right. We were all the way up at the top there. It only took us like 20 minutes to get down it. <laughs> wow. And we're on a riverbed. Yeah, this old fan. This old riverbed here. Looks like it runs in the spring. This probably whole thing runs as water, snow melt coming out of it. But then you get onto this uh, flat area. It's grass is uh, really low to the ground. You can walk easily. It's, uh, it's a weird thing to see out here. Everything else is covered in trees and boulders and things. Just cruising along here, trying to take it all in. And we're just uh, upstream of uh, Royal River and I think Louise Creek on uh, River Left. But yeah, it's been basically like this for the whole day. Just really just kind of steering. But you gotta be on your toes the whole time. Uh, yeah. So we just pulled over here. We're looking for a site. Looks like we found one. Nice little spot here, just by uh, just upstream of uh, Royal Creek. Looks like it gets used a fair bit. You can see the sheep tracks on the uh, hills. Looks like it's good a spot as any. So it's night for dinner. We're gonna do this uh, turkey dinner. We uh, prepped ourselves in the winter. Um, so we got dehydrated turkey, peas, carrots, corn. Uh, there's some cranberries in there and uh, gravy mix in here. So we're gonna throw that into a pot and let it uh, rehydrate for a while about 20 minutes and then uh, we're gonna warm it up we're gonna throw in uh, just these garlic mm -hmm. just these uh, grocery store garlic mashed potato mix 
and then at the end uh, we'll make a little pot of this uh, stuffing so we'll throw that in there too Just cover it, all the contents. Just like that. All right, here's the final product. Normally I would put all this in, uh, just in one pot and do it all in once, but uh, there's the turkey and gravy, the turkey mix. There's the stuffing. And there's the mashed potatoes. All right, here we are. This is so good. This is the turkey dinner. Mm.